SNN. Today is June 9th, 2011. Today is a hawk day. Which means there are periods 2, 4, and 6. You have to check out Google today for Les Paul's birthday. It's completely amazing. I mean, seriously, guitar players are going to go wild. There are some actual guitar strings on the Google homepage today that you can play and record a song and play it back. It's really cool. Good morning, everyone. We have Mr. Blair with us this morning. Everyone, everyone is busy making summer plans, and Mr. Blair is no exception. He has some amazing plans for his summer. His plans involve a bike in about 3,500 miles of the United States. Well, how about you tell us about your trip this summer? Hi, thank you ladies for having me on. Yeah, I got a letter in the mail way back in uh, January saying, reminding me that our 30th high school reunion in Talmadge, Ohio was coming up this coming summer. So I've never been back for a reunion, and I thought, what the heck, I think I'm going to go ahead and pedal all the way to Ohio for my reunion, spend the summer going across the country at about 15 miles an hour. Um, so you're doing it because of your reunion? Yeah, yeah. 30 years ago, I walked across the stage in Talmadge, Ohio, and got my diploma. And I haven't been back to Talmadge since, so I thought, what the heck, let's go ahead and go for it. Right across the country, between here and Talmadge is about uh, 3,000 miles. So I thought, let's, let's ride and uh, take our time. So I'm starting as soon as school is out. Uh, Mr. Houston's going to ride across Washington with me, and then I'll be on my own from Coeur d'Alene all the way to Ohio. And since I'm going to Ohio, I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pedal on to Washington, D.C. to finish up on the Capitol steps on about the 6th of August. Cool. So what inspired you to ride your bike across the country? Well, I rode it across a couple of times in the 90s when I was a young man. So I thought, you know, it's been about 20 years, and I thought it's time to see if I can still pedal uh, over the course of about 45 days um, across the United States. This, uh, in 1992, when I first went across, I carried my bags with me, and I had about 65 pounds of gear on my, on my bike, tent, sleeping bag, all those type of things. But this time, I'm just taking a credit card and staying in hotel rooms. And I'll have this bike bag right here, and it'll have everything I need for the summer, hopefully. But that's why the credit card, I'm bringing that along, just in case I forget something. Do you know anyone else who's done this? Uh, I know Mrs. Pappas did it uh, a number of years ago, went all the way across the United States, so she's an inspiration. And, and a lot of my friends have gone across, or at least part of the way across the United States. So it's just an amazing way to see the country at a nice slow pace on the, uh, on the country roads and the rural roads uh, um, through many states. I'll be, I'll be going through 14 states uh, over 46 days and covering about 80 to 100 miles per day. So what do you think will be the hardest part? Uh, a lot of people ask that question. That's a great question, and, and most people think it's the Rockies, but actually it's when you get to the eastern part of the United States, uh, there's the Appalachian Mountains, one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world, and it's just basically a 300-mile roller coaster ride. You go up one and down the other and right back up another, so they're not nearly as high as the Rocky Mountains, but it goes on and on forever, so I would say it's the Appalachian Mountains. In the fall, what do you think will, about your summer will stand out the most? Well, what I'm hoping is I've, I've set up a Facebook page, and I've got uh, about 100 Skyhawks have liked my page, so I'm hoping I'll get a, quite a few more over the next couple of weeks before I take off. So the information is go to your Facebook. Can you hold that, girls? Go to your Facebook page, not, not mine, but go to your Facebook page and type Big Reunion Ride 2011, and then click Like. And then you can follow me across the country. I'm hoping to update the Facebook page on a daily basis or at least every other day with comments and pictures. And I'm hoping to also get lots of comments and inspiration and, and motivational comments from uh, the Skyhawks and find out what they're doing during the summer also. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Blair. Yeah, thank you for having me. We wish you luck and good weathers, and we'll be sure to follow your progress too. Thank you. Thank you, Carter. Thank you. Today is the big day. In the rubber gym. Come on, celebrate the end of the school year with your friends and come to the Sky Ridge Dance. It's from 2.30 to 4 p.m. Munchies and drinks may be purchased. Only one last dance, one last time to socialize and celebrate the end of the school year. You don't have to dance. You can just hang out with your friends. Totally. Go to the dance today and enjoy. You don't need anything special, just yourself. But you need a ticket. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Tickets for the end of the year dance will be sold at lunch today. You may purchase one ticket with your ASB card. Thursday ticket prices, with ASB card, $3. Without an ASB card, $4. Then after the dance, eat at the Camus Burgerville from 5 to 9 p.m. Isn't the timing perfect? 
It is to support the Camas Public Library's summer reading program. 10% of the proceeds will be donated to the library. More information about the summer reading program can be found at www.camaslibrary.org. The program starts on June 20th, but you can pre-register online now. Tomorrow, Ms. Good from the Chemist Public Library will be here, live and in person, to tell us all about it. There's a run this weekend. That's right, a run for the Chemist Educational Foundation. It's a fun run. There's a trail run or a, a trail runner walk. And at 10.30, a 1K kids runner walk. The cost of registration includes a t-shirt. Go to cefcamist.org for more details, particulars, and all that stuff. Then at 11, you can go to Camtown. We've been talking all about Camtown, and this year's event is on Saturday. Two days. It's great kickoff to summer. Tons of activities, and there's something for the whole family. Take everyone and have some great together time. All that and much, much more at the Camtown Youth Festival this Saturday, from 11 to 3 at Crown Park. Summer checkout is well underway, and it continues to the last day of school. Check out up to 30 books for summer reading. You might want to start early. Your account needs to be current. No past due books or fines. Anything currently due can be renewed for summer checkout. LMC summer checkout started yesterday. What about the book fair? Well, that ends on Friday at 12.45. Today's quote is from Johnny Depp. I think the thing to do is enjoy the ride while you're on it. It's Johnny's birthday today, too. Do you think he was talking about bike riding or fame? Hmm, either way. Remember the code, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Have a thrilling Thursday, and don't forget to go to the dance tonight. This has been Carter and Edie. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin.